Well, it's Sunday the 19th of May and we've just returned from the Cheshire Cat in Chester. Um, we weren't planning on moving the boat this weekend because the weather forecast didn't look too good. But then on the Friday, um, something happened that changed our minds. Um, we actually went to the Boathouse, which is a, a wonderful place here on the marina where you can go for a nice drink and a meal. Very nice place. Um, well, it's been closed last week. Uh, for the week because it was having a little bit of a refurbishment, a bit of paint and some new furniture and what have you. <clears throat> so uh, very kindly on Friday evening they were offering free fish and chips to us moorers um, to celebrate the refurbishment and reopening of the boat out. So Sandy and I went with our friends uh, Nigel and Jill and we um, it was fantastic as ever the food there is amazing Anne and all the staff do a fantastic job as ever we had a fantastic meal and a good time but unfortunately we did however find out that it's no longer dog friendly now that causes a bit of an issue for Sandy and I and of course we do have our beautiful boys Chip and Dale and we do take them there quite a lot. It's different if we're going for a meal, perhaps we might leave them on the boat, um, but we go quite a bit randomly just for a, a drink and just to socialise in an afternoon, perhaps go for a nice quiet pint and we always take the boys, as indeed most of the boaters here do. A lot of the boaters here are dog owners and we all love our doggies. Um, indeed another boater turned up with his dog, he, this lovely little dog goes everywhere with him but unfortunately he was turned away and he never came back. So we're reasonably upset about it and understandably and we hope that the higher management change their minds. Um, they need to or they're going to lose a lot of business, not, not just from us but from all the other voters. There's a lot of ill feeling about it at the moment. But hey ho, let's hope that this decision isn't written in, in in stone and they actually shake their heads and wake up a little bit and realise that us boaters have doggies. Um, so anyway, that sort of changed our minds because on Saturday we were planning on having a cosy day on the chug, on Chuggabug and taking the boys for a drink and just relaxing in the boathouse for a couple of hours. But unfortunately, no, nah, that changed our minds. Either way up the cut, we can go right about a 50 minute cruise and that will take us to the Shady Oak, a beautiful dog friendly pub. Or we can go left on the Shropshire Union and it's a two hour cruise to the Cheshire Cat, which is ironically a dog friendly pub. Anyway, so we went for the latter. So we took Chuggabug up the Shropshire Union and went to moored up for the night outside the Cheshire Cat. Uh, met Amy and Matt and a beautiful grandson there and had a lovely meal with our dogs with us. So have a look at the cruise and see what you think. Yes, we were soon on our way and the weather forecast wasn't really that good, but it did forecast to be a dry weekend. It was going to be cloudy and overcast, but no rain. And indeed, that's exactly how it turned out. Got a little bit cooler, a little bit further nearer Chester, but we were fine. Wrapped up and we cranked it all the way into Chester. I must stop saying cranked it. I'm sorry, Robbie. I don't know where it comes from. Chip Dale. Hello. There you can see our propeller tillapin. It is actually made out of a real propeller, but from where it comes from, we don't know. Perfect day for boating. No wind and no sunshine. Straight in your face. Perfect. Lots and lots of boats here at Golden Nook or Nook Farm. Indeed, as many as 120 boats, I believe, as I've said before, more up here. So we do have to go very, very slow past their moorings, not to upset their guidelines or untie their boats or break their best crockery. Cool dude, my missus.
Lots of different moorings around this area. This particular boat was out at the time and it's the first time that we've cruised past and not seen her there. I do wish sometimes that I had a time machine because I'd love to go back to the 1700s and see the craftsmen, the stonemasons that built some of these bridges. Every brick would have been handmade and obviously laid by hand. A true skill. Marvellous. This particular part of the waterways that you join us on, on the Shropshire Union, was known as the Chester to Nantwich branch and it was one of the first waterways opened in the UK. Indeed, it was dug out and opened in 1772. A remarkable feat of engineering which we never ever take for granted and often chat about as we're cruising down the cut. Now I know Sandy was very very nervous about passing other boats out on the cut when she was on the tiller so perhaps my poorly eye might have been a blessing in disguise as she definitely mastered it by the end of this cruise. Now these boaters actually shouted out as we went past Aren't you the boat from Canal Boat magazine last month? Well, yes we are. Very embarrassed, but we were quite proud. Now these willow trees look absolutely beautiful and we both love them, but they cause such a hazard out on the cut as we can't see through them and they are awkward. Please, Canal and River Trust, cut them back a bit. Just a little bit. Anyway, we've made it to Chester and moored up for the night. Give us a wave, babe. <laughs> All warm and cosy on Chuggabug. And indeed, that night, I hate to admit it, but we got all cosy, had a drink, and watched the Eurovision Song Contest. Obviously, we didn't win. Had a great night outside the Cheshire Cat. Never moored there before, but been there several times, and we made new boaty friends. Fantastic. So the Sunday morning came and my eyes were a little bit better so uh, I did uh, turn the boat round and then Sandy actually got back on the tiller if I'm honest and did another good job taking us home. So we were heading east down the Shropshire Union on another very overcast but dry day. I'd love to know which engine that propeller actually came off. Must have been a small outboard, I'm thinking. Please, Mr. Rain, stay away. Now Sandy and I love living on the boat and wouldn't replace it for the world but if our arms were twisted and we really had to it would be for one of these properties. It would be wonderful to have one of these overlooking the canal. We'd have to get a little vessel if we wanted to cruise the shoppy. Fantastic. Even the ducks love it. Mm. 
Now the summer season and the boating season is well upon us now with the lovely weather. We see lots of canoes and kayaks out on the cut, but they don't tend to stick to the right as we do. They tend to go all over the place, so we give a little toot on the horn just to let them know that we're on our way. That's the beauty of having a canoe. Great fun. This couple have followed us all the way from Chester. They must have had a great walk. And look, even the Inuits love the canals. Yes, so just a nice little cruise down the Shropshire Union and we had a great night at the Cheshire Cat and uh, met some lovely people. Great time was had. Um, incidentally, we did message our friends Martin and Sarah, who have got a boat just over there, as they've just bought two beautiful little doggies, two British bulldogs, uh, Ronnie and Reggie. Absolutely fantastic characters. And rumour has it that Ronnie and Reggie aren't very happy either. Here, Ronnie, Mum and Dad have just bought us. We won't even be able to go to the ruddy bar for a drink the way this is going. What are you going to do, bruv? It's all right, Reggie. Don't worry, my son. I'm sending the boys round. Yes, yeah, so Ronnie and Reggie, not happy. As indeed are a lot of the boaters here. So let's hope that the company that owns Tatton Hall Marina actually wake up and realise that we love dogs and we walk with our paws. You take care, everyone, and we'll catch you next time on Chuggerbug.